How do I know my youth is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went, but in spite of it all, I'm How many of you know Matt from the Folks Like Us show in Detroit? Make some noise. Yeah, okay. How many of you know Matt Wittrobo from his playing and singing anywhere that you've seen him? How many have seen him with Don White? All right, well, you're going to get it all. Hi, Pat. You're going to get it all tonight here uh, on the stage here at the fabulous Elk Rapids Cinema. It's so nice to see this man again. I think he's going to, we're going to be first uh, among many to find out what Matt's next venture is. But we know he's got this guitar and he's got this beautiful voice. And Matt Wetroba, we're so glad to have you back in Michigan tonight. Welcome to the Elk Rapids Theater. Welcome to Elk Rapids, my new home, ladies and gentlemen. Matt Wetroba. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. <clears throat> I saw Adam leave the garden with an apple in his hand. Now that you're out, what are you gonna do? Plant a seed and pray for rain, maybe raise a little cane. I'm an orphan now and I'm just passing through. Passing through, passing through. Sometimes happy, sometimes blue, glad that I ran into you. Tell the people that you saw me passing through. Well, I shivered next to Washington one night at Valley Forge. Why do the soldiers freeze here like they do? Well, he said, man will suffer, fight, even die for what is right, even though they know they're only passing through. Passing through, passing through. Sometimes happy, sometimes blue, glad that I ran into you. Tell the people that you saw me passing through. And twas at Franklin Roosevelt's side just a while before he died. He said one world must come out of World War II. Yankee, Russian, white or tan, Lord, a man is just a man. We're all brothers and we're only passing through. Passing through, passing through. Sometimes happy, sometimes blue, glad that I ran into you. Tell the people that you saw me passing through. And Gandhi spoke of freedom one night. I said, man, we gotta fight. He said, yes, but love's the weapon we should use. For with killing no one wins, it's with love that peace begins. It takes courage when we're only passing through. Passing through, passing through. Sometimes happy, sometimes blue, glad that I ran into you. Tell the people that you saw me passing through. Thank you very much. Oh, I am in my happy place. I've, I've, been, I've lived in Michigan my whole life, and when I come to northern Michigan, I'm in my happy place. I know why you live here. I know why you live here. I've been living in Ohio for the last three years. Now, in Kent, Ohio. Now, for those of you who don't know where that is, it's... See, that's why I like Michigan. I can just do that, and people know I can't do that with Ohio for some reason. Um, but the good news is, is I'm done with Ohio, and I'm moving back to where I belong, uh, coming in this summer, as a matter of fact. So I'm really looking forward to my return. I used to sing a lot, and people used to say, you know, you sound like John Denver, and I finally decided just to give it up and, and just sing one of his songs. So I think I'm going to sing this song because I feel the feel of this song in Elk Rapids. And it has a great chorus. If you feel like singing with me, I'd love to hear your voices on it. If you know it, just join us. There's a storm across the valley. The clouds are rolling in. The afternoon is heavy on your shoulder. 
There's a truck out on the four lane a mile or more away. The winding of his wheels just makes him colder. He's an hour away from riding all your prayers up in the sky. Ten days on the road are barely gone. And there's a fire softly burning and supper's on the stove. And the light in your eyes will make them warm. You know the chorus. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Don't be shy. Sometimes this old farm feels like a long lost friend. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. There's all the news to tell him how you'd spend your time. What's the latest thing the neighbors say? And your mother called last Friday. Sunshine made her cry. Felt the baby move just yesterday. Let's hear you sing it now. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Sometimes this old farm feels like a long lost friend. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. Oh, the time that I can lay this tired old body down to feel your fingers feather soft on me. The kisses that I live for, the love that lights my way. Happiness that living with you brings me. It's the sweetest thing I know of, just spending time with you. It's the little things that make a house a home. Like a fire softly burning and supper on the stove light in your eyes that makes them warm. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Oh, I love the harmony. Sounds good. Sometimes this old farm feels like a long lost friend. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. Oh, let's do it one more time. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Yes, it is. Sometimes this old farm feels like a long lost friend. Yes, and hey, it's good to be back home again. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Thank you very much. Well, a few years back, I decided to do an entire record, a whole, I should say there's some young people here. Records are those big black CDs that you sometimes find in your... I decided to do a whole CD of songs that celebrated the fact that we're all getting older. I, you know, I get the same silence every time I say that. I should probably... But the truth is, I was looking around and I noticed that there was just so much bad press, so much bad negative stuff about getting older, when I know for a fact there's lots of good reasons to hang around, don't you think? Like retiring and moving to Elk Rapids, that's one good reason. Uh, grandchildren, having love that lasts, you know, there's a million, and I was just tired of seeing all these negative messages. So I decided to put out a record called The Best Is Yet To Be, based on the old Robert Browning poem that says, grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. 
the last of life for which the first was made and not the other way around. And so I tried to find every single song I could find that looked at the positive side of aging. So I have a two song CD out in the lot. No, that's not true. I've got a whole CD of songs that do that. And I thought maybe I would give you an example of one of those songs. And it's also got a great chorus. So if you feel like singing along, since my hero Pete Seeger passed last year, I, I figure I got to get people singing because that's what he did. Absolutely. This was a song written by Pete, as a matter of fact. He said he found this poem written on a napkin in a diner in Wisconsin back in the 1940s. Then he said this poem, he figured out, was on the bathroom walls as graffiti on old folks' homes all across the country. I had no idea there was graffiti in bathrooms at old folks' homes. I say that's probably writing we should pay attention to, don't you? And the poem was simply the chorus, and then Pete wrote, wrote all the lyrics, all the, all the verses. And this is the chorus. If you know it, sing along. How do I know my youth is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went. But in spite of it all, I'm able to grin. Think of the places my get up has been. Can you relate to that? She can't, though. Old age is golden or so I've heard said But I wonder each evening as I crawl into bed With my ears in a drawer, my teeth in a cup My eyes on the table until I wake up As sleep dims my vision, I say to myself Is there anything else I should lay on the shelf? Though nations are warring and business is vexed We'll still stick around to see what happens next How do I know? My youth is all spent My get up and go has got up and went But in spite of it all I'm able to grin Think of the places my get up has been When I was younger my slippers were red I could kick up my heels right over my head When I was older my slippers were blue But still I could dance the whole night through now that I'm older, my slippers are black. I huff to the store and I puff my way back. But never you laugh, I don't mind at all. I'd rather be huffing than not puff at all. How do I know my youth is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went. But in spite of it all, I'm able to grin. Think of the places my get up has been. First time I ever sang this song was in an old folks home just to show you that even folk singers can live dangerously on the edge. But I looked around, and I was pretty sure I could take most of them. I, you know, when I put that record out, I got to sing for a lot of older people. It was a real blessing, and, and this is a true story. This happened at one of those senior centers I was in. I, I, I was unpacking my guitar, and this wonderful old woman comes up to me as I'm unpacking my guitar and she says, excuse me, son. She said, can you, can you tell me what we're having for lunch today? <laughs> and I said, oh, ma'am, do you know who I am? And she said, no, but, but if you forget, they'll tell you at the front counter. <laughs> you can laugh now, but that's a service we may need sooner than you think. And it was this particular verse that I was worried about, but after I sang it, they made me do it three times, so I figured sense of humor is worth keeping. I wake up each morning and dust off my wits, open the paper and read the obits. If I'm not there, I know I'm not dead, so I eat a good breakfast and go back to bed. How do I know my youth is all spent? My get up and go has got up and went, but in spite of it all, I'm able to grin. Think of the places my get up has been. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, as I mentioned, I am from Michigan. I, this is where I belong. This is where I plan to stay the rest of my life. And one of the things I love about Michigan is the, uh, the subject of the next song. 
Uh, for many, many years, in fact, I met Kerry Carlson through doing my radio work down at uh, Public Radio in Detroit, WDET. One day, I always listened to Over Easy whenever Kerry was on on Saturday and Sunday morning. And uh, finally, I just got the courage up to call her. And I think on the phone, she recognized my voice instantly. Turns out we'd been listening to each other's programs for years and just never met each other. And once we did, uh, a really wonderful long friendship began, of course, because she's a wonderful person. And absolutely, you have a treasure here in Elk Rapids. And an interesting thing happened to me. For most of my singing career, I was never a songwriter, and songwriting came to me late in life, came to me in my early 40s. And now, it just won't stop. My latest record, which I brought with me, is called Shine Right Through the Dark, and it's the first record I have of all my original songs and co-writes that I've done. And this is a song that I wrote about a, a real special place in my heart, because now it doesn't exist anymore. But it used to exist on the corner of Michigan Avenue and Trumbull. That's why I love Michigan. I do that in Boston. They don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Of course, they don't think there's any other ballpark other than Fenway Park. But that, of course, is where Tiger Stadium used to sit. Now it's just a gate, a lonely gate, in front of a field where it's actually illegal to play baseball. But that has not stopped a single game from occurring every day at that corner. People are just bringing their gear and they're playing baseball at the corner again. So I decided uh, I needed to write a song for my old friend that used to sit there. I, I, when I look at Tiger Stadium, the old place, memories just come flooding over me, memories of my father and so many other things. So I wrote this little song called They Used to Play Baseball that here. And I was really excited when I, when I wrote it. It got, somebody had heard it at uh, MajorLeagueBaseball.com and they did an article about it. And then I went and sang it at the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Yeah. Until um, security came and ruined everything. They've ruined so much in my life. So here's the song. I drive on through the broken gate, past the booth now still and dark. Where once the cars were bathed in light, spilling over from the park. Flip my keys to Jim or Steve, find my seat and have a beer. But this old house is coming down, they used to play baseball here. The stadium has moved downtown, leaving nothing on the street. They traded in a neighborhood for a corporate box or suite. I know it's good for business. That point has been made clear But this old house is coming down They used to play baseball here On game days we would stand outside And a line curled round the block But Gracie's eggs were worth the wait And I love the baseball talk Marvel how the morning hours would somehow disappear. But Gracie's place is coming down. They used to serve breakfast here. The new joint's out on exit five. You don't have to stand in line. They traded conversation for a convenient place to dine. I know it's good for business. That point has been made clear. This old house is coming down They used to play baseball here I know we're moving forward And I guess we probably should But there's a cost for what we've lost When things are gone for good The barber shop near Gracie's Was a gathering for guys between innings on the radio, they spent hours spinning lies. A ring of smoke, a dirty joke, for over 40 years. Now Saturdays are not the same, they used to give haircuts here. The new salons stretch on and on, Walt's place was cramped and small. They traded in a gathering place for a cheap cut at the mall. I know it's good for business. 
that point has been made clear But this old house is coming down They used to play baseball here And this old house, it's coming down They used to play baseball here Thank you very much. That's what I love about music. I do that. And instantly that brings up what to you? <laughs> right? I don't have to say Johnny Cash. I don't have to say country music. I just have to go. I was raised in a house where only, almost only country music was played. Country music and polkas. And occasionally when my dad wanted to cure their teenage son's hangovers, really loud John Philip Sousa marches. But mostly it was country music and old time country music. I'm talking about Hank Williams and Hank Snow and Hank Thompson and everybody named Hank, pretty much. So that's the kind of music I grew up with, is this old time country music which can be a problem when you're a, a teenager in the 1970s. Because it turns out when you go to school, high school, and kids ask you what you're into and you say Conway and Loretta, that doesn't work, you know? So I wish I would have known this little trick back then. But it turns out, well, just listen. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have played them all. But I ain't seen nothing like him in any amusement hall. You know the song? That deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean pit. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Turns out there's only so many meters, you know, and, and that's just one of them. In fact, as a, as a reformed English teacher, I know for a fact that you can read every single Emily Dickinson poem to the tune of the Yellow Rose of Texas. <laughs> now, you may not believe me, but tomorrow you'll be at the used bookstore going, because I would not stop for death, she finally stopped for me. Every single poem. You can do that one. But I digress. You'll try it tomorrow, I promise you. <laughs> but what I fell in love with was this old country music. Because country music to me has something, and no offense to Carrie, because she plays the best country music in northern Michigan. But the old stuff has melody. These great old melodies. I'm growing tired of the big city lights. Tired of the glamour and tired of the strife. In all my dreams, I am roving once more Back to the days on the old river shore I am sad and weary Far away from home I miss the Mississippi and you, dear are dark and dreary everywhere I roam I miss the Mississippi and you roving the wide world over always alone in blue so blue nothing seems to cheer me under heaven's dome I miss the Mississippi and you You're the low Like you're in Georgia, doesn't it? <laughs> Those old beautiful melodies. Well, when I started writing songs, it was because I marched down into my father's basement where he keeps 2,000 of those big black CDs, much to my mother's chagrin. And we started going through those vinyls and we started trying to pick the songs that would fit 
on a folk music record from that old country era. And I came up with a whole bunch of songs and put them together called Jukebox Folk. And one of the very first things that happened was those songs spoke to me and they, they really inspired the muse in me. And I started writing songs kind of in that genre. Let me play you one of the first songs that I, I wrote after listening to a whole bunch of these old country songs. Have you ever seen that? Uh, first of all, someone had sent me a list of the 100 greatest country music songs of all time. Now, I don't know how they decide such things, but on this list are some really great titles, you know? Titles like, You're the Reason Our Kids Are Ugly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good country song title. There's actually a song called, You Can Lock Me Into Prison, But You Can't Keep My Face From Breaking Out. <laughs> great titles. So I looked at all those song titles, and then I remembered that old book from the 70s, Everything I Ever Needed to Learn, I Learned When I Was in Kindergarten. Remember that? And I thought, what would happen if I combined those songs and that old book? So here's a song called The Jukebox Taught Me Everything I Know. Well, I never went to college or attended private school. Learned all my life's lessons from a creaky wooden stool. Stood inside the old red dog where the lonely people go. The jukebox taught me everything I know. I learned that easy loving wasn't hard to find. And true love, when it comes your way, is always on your mind. Learn that it's the cheating songs that make an honest man a liar. And you'll be walking after midnight through a burning ring of fire. Well, I never went to college or attended private school. I learned all my life's lessons from a creaky wooden stool. Stood inside the old red dog where the lonely people go. The jukebox taught me everything I know. Johnny Cash, he taught me not to take my guns to town. And if I sit here long enough, you'll pick me up on your way down. Learn that it's the cheating hearts that give themselves away. And a big bouquet of roses might just win her back one day. Well, I never went to college or attended private school. I learned all my life's lessons from a creepy wooden stool. My teachers were the masters of rhythm and of rhyme. And I paid my tuition one quarter at a time. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to do one more song, and then I'm going to bring a very special guest up who made the drive all the way from Ann Arbor, Michigan. So I'm just going to put you on call. You'll be up next. But I couldn't imagine coming out here and playing for my old friend Carrie Carlson without doing a song I know is one of her favorites. In fact, it, it got me on a compilation CD that she did uh, when she used to work downstate. And Don was on that CD as well, as a matter of fact. And I remember doing this song live in Carrie's studio and watching Carrie go to another place as she imagined all the imagery that the great Paul Simon put into this song. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, because I, I, I'm so immersed in the world of folk music and have been for so long, I start asking silly questions like, what is a folk song? What makes a folk song? Well, this much I know. When I was at a concert of Paul Simon's a few years back, this was at uh, DT, uh, D Pine Knob. Remember that place? <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. When I was at Pine Knob watching Paul Simon do this song, all 13,000 people in the audience sang every word. Now, I'm not sure what a folk song is, but I think that's got a pretty good chance. Right? That song will be sung for many years. A simple story of innocence. Mm -hmm. 
Let us be lovers, we'll marry our fortunes together. I've got some real estate here in my bag. So we bought a pack of cigarettes. This is Wagner Pies. And we walked off to look for America. Kathy, I said, as we boarded a Greyhound in Pittsburgh. Michigan seems like a dream to me now. Took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw and I've come to look for America Laughing on the bus Playing games with the faces She said the man in the gabardine suit was a spy Oh, and I said, be careful, his bow tie is really a camera. Toss me a cigarette, I think there's one in my raincoat. I just had this thought when I was doing this song many, many years ago in the bars and in the saloons where I learned how to do this. I would sing, toss me a cigarette and they would come pelting at me. <laughs> Not at 625 a pack, they don't do that anymore. I'd sell them individually outside the theater. <laughs> Toss me a cigarette, I think there's one in my raincoat. We smoked the last one an hour ago. So I looked at the scenery She read her magazine And the moon rose over an open field Kathy, I'm lost, I said Though I knew she was sleeping and making and I don't know why Counting the turns on the New Jersey Turnpike They've all come Look for America They've all come To look for America They've all come To look for America Thank you very much. Oh, we are so lucky to have Katie Geddes here in the audience. She uh, drove up from Ann Arbor to be here with us tonight, and I'm just going to take full advantage of that. She sings uh, on almost all of my CDs. I'm especially proud of the work that she did on my last CD of original songs and the country music stuff, because I love the country music duets that became so popular. And so have a, how about a welcome to Katie Geddes. How you doing? Good, how are you? Isn't this great? This is beautiful. I think what I'll do is start with a song that um, was influenced by these old country singers, and then we'll take you back in time a little bit and do some of these old country duets. I love this old country music. But if it wasn't for these old country singers, these old country duets, we wouldn't have Simon and Garfunkel. It's where they got their sound. We wouldn't have the, the, the duo that I'm about to play now, the Everly Brothers. I want you to tell me why you walked out on me I'm so lonesome every day I want you to know that since you walked out on me Nothing seems 
seems to be the same old way Think about the love that burns within my heart for you The good times we had before you went away, oh me Walk right back to me this minute Bring your love to me, don't send it I'm so lonesome every day out on me I'm so lonesome every day I want you to know that since you walked out on me nothing seems to be the same old way think about the love that burns within my heart for you the good times we had before you went away, oh me Walk right back to me this minute Bring your love to me, don't send it I'm so lonesome every day I'm so lonesome every day Well, thank you very much. Well, one of the first, uh, Katie's first appearance on one of my CDs came from uh, The Best Is Yet To Be. And she sang a few songs with me, although she didn't sing this one with me. I love the way she sings it. And, I, and I'm looking out. I, one of the things I've noticed about my audiences is, is that they're, they're getting a little older. <laughs> Maybe I am too, I don't know. But I love that about my audiences because, I, you know, we should all get older, don't you think? I do. Um, and so I, I, when I put this record together of all these songs about getting older, I wanted to be sure to celebrate one really important thing to me, because there are so many songs about love in the world, but so few songs about making love last, so few songs about love that survives, old love. And I'm looking around in this theater tonight, and I'm thinking, there are some people here who have figured that out, right? As in, raise your hand if you've been married over 30 years. Keep them up if it's been over 40 years. Look at that. Anybody over, anybody over 50? Anybody to the same person? <laughs> That's something to celebrate. That's not something you see commercials for. And I wanted to be sure that we talked. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to send this song out to you. This was written by a wonderful couple from Minnesota by the name of Neil and Leandra. And it's a song called Old Love. I had a request for it. And since Katie's here, here you go. <laughs> We've got an old love, one we never will get tired of, one that fits us like an old glove, one to warm the winter days. We don't have to say I love you quite as often as we used to. Old love just goes without saying. We still say it anyway. I met you beneath the willow. You were young, a little shy. You would laugh at all my stories. Watch the river flowing by. We would sit and talk for hours. Then at dusk, I'd walk you home. Who'd have guessed we'd walk a lifetime Growing up and growing old We've got an old love One we never will get tired of One that fits us like an old glove One to warm the winter days We don't have to say I love you Quite as often as we used to Old love just goes without saying But we still say it anyway May not leave this town we live in 
Life's not as easy as we planned I always meant to give you diamonds but You still wear a plain gold band That old river keeps on rolling We don't know just what's in store But in spite of all of this I don't love you like I did I love you so much more We've got an old love One we never will get tired of One that fits us like an old glove One to warm the winter days We don't have to say I love you Quite as often as we used to Old love just goes without saying But we still say it anyway Old love just goes without saying But we still say it anyway Thank you very much. Thank you. So I've got a few more songs to play for you. are in for an evening. I'm telling you, I've, I've, I've had enough fun already, but boy, we've got a lot more to come. And I'll tell you a little bit, a bit about that in just a minute. Uh, but I got, you know, every time I sing that song, I think of my parents who are still very much alive, and they're going to be celebrating their 59th wedding anniversary in October. <laughs> and could you imagine? Maybe some of you can. I don't know. Um, but it, I, I can't help but think of a, a, something that happened at their 25th wedding anniversary. It just still sticks right here in my heart, and I want to share it with you up in Elk Rapids. Uh, we, we had a big party for my parents on their 25th wedding anniversary. We flew my brother in from Oregon. We put him in a big box. You know, it's just a one had family and friends around. And when it came time for the toast, I'll never forget what my mom said. She raised up her wine glass, and she looked around the room of family and friends. She looked at my dad, and she said, 25 years married to this man. She said, you know, if I would have killed him when I wanted to, I'd be out of jail by now. <laughs> I wish that weren't a true story. It really is a true story. I met a girl out in the hills who gave my lonely heart a thrill. Her beauty seemed just like a breath of spring. And when I looked into her eyes, I thought of blue midsummer skies. And when I held her hand in mine, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sing of wondering, wondering if he'll love her. Will she marry, marry if he'll ask her. Will her heart be, heart be true for him for then and evermore. And when she's lonely, lonely is he near her. And there's sadness, sadness will he cheer her. Will they always, always be together until in death they part. I courted her for months on end until she promised we'd be wed. We planned on being married in the spring. All through the long cold winter months, it seemed that spring would never come. And every gloomy winter's day, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sang of waiting, waiting for the flower, and of counting, counting every hour. The bluebird, bluebird brings his welcome into the world once more. And though we're waiting, waiting for the sunshine, we keep hating, hating every storm cloud that has gathered, gathered on the mountain to, to keep, keep us far apart. Spring touched the earth, we were married in the village church. Our wedding seemed just like a dream come true. So many years have come and gone, our love is still as true and strong as when I found her long ago. And still the bluebirds sing, they sing of loving, loving every hour that I'm married, married to my flower. We'll be happy, happy ever after, as since the day we met. And though we're older, older love is sweeter. Of each other will be sweethearts, sweethearts close together until the end of time. <laughs> Little song from the Browns. Johnny, be fair. Johnny, be fair. Yeah, you be fair. <laughs> 
Katie is a, a, a wonderful solo singer as well. She sings in a lot of different groups and in church, and I thought maybe I'd take this opportunity to let her share a little wisdom with you through a song. <laughs> this is a little lesson in genealogy. Oh, Johnny be fine and Johnny be fair and wants me for to wed. And I would marry Johnny, but my father up and said, I'm sad to tell you, daughter, what your mother never knew. But Johnny is a son of mine, and so he's kin to you. Oh, Jimmy be fine, and Jimmy be fair, and wants me for to wed. And I would marry Jimmy, but my father up and said, I'm sad to tell your daughter what your mother never knew. But Jimmy is a son of mine, and so he's kin to you. Oh, Billy be fine, and Billy be fair, and wants me for to wed. And I would marry Billy, but my father up and said, I'm sad to tell your daughter what your mother never knew. But Billy is a son of mine, and so he's kin to you. You'd never seen a girl so sad and sorry as I was. The boys in town are all my kin, and my father is the cause. If life should thus continue, I shall die a single miss. And so I'll go to mother and complain to her of this. Oh, daughter, haven't I taught you to forgive and to forget? And if your father so as oats, well, still you needn't fret. Your father may be father to all the boys in town, and still he's not the one who sired you, so marry whom you will. <laughs> I just love happy endings, you know? <laughs> I... I'll do a couple more songs here and then we'll take a little break. And as I did mention, we, we do have CDs. They're right when you came in in the door. And if you're at all interested, Don and I would be very happy to sign them for you or whatever it, really, whatever it takes to get you to buy them. I'll, you know, I'll just say it right now. Although technically it's turned out uh, scientifically proven that if, if I sign your CD, it does go down just a little bit on eBay if, if you're thinking of reselling. I'll sing another one from my new record of, uh, of original music. This is a song that I co-wrote with a beautiful, beautiful writer from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania by the name of Ann Hills. Beautiful voice. Had this melody floating around for years. And after a concert we had done together, she asked me to get the melody out and a notebook. And we came up with this uh, little song called Lifetime Love. for 
your sunrise shining bright in your eyes not inside a lifetime love like mine slowly she rose and she opened the door her bare feet on the floor took her love in her arms we stood in the sunrise shining bright in our eyes now inside a lifetime love Thank you so much. How about another hand for Katie Geddes? You done? No. We'll do, we'll do, uh, okay. Sound good? All right, let me t- just, Carrie's going to introduce Don White, but let me, do, let me have my take on it. Okay? Uh-oh. I love that man. He's great. You're going to enjoy every minute. How many, just out of curiosity, how many have never seen him before? Anybody in here? Oh, my gosh. I better sit in the back row. <laughs> yeah, you're going to love it. I, it's just such a, a pleasure and a joy to have a friend like him. And you're, you guys are just going to enjoy the evening so much. I, I've enjoyed having you here so far. So thanks for that. And I'm going to do one more song. This is a song that I started writing about 10 years before I ever started writing my own songs. And I actually got this idea at my grandmother's funeral. She lived this beautiful, long life. And, and we were there at the funeral home. And, and I was, you know how it happens sometimes? You start thinking about what it means to live forever and all those kind of philosophical sort of things that come up at times like that. And I was so, it was so clear to me, looking at the people in that, in that place, that I could see my grandmother's love in every single person in that room, from five years old to 85 years old. And it just became so crystal clear to me at that moment that if we want to live forever, we should love as much as we can while we're alive. And so then a mere 10 years later, I wrote the song that went along with it. And it's called How Will I Leave? And and, uh, again, thank you so much for being such a great audience. I wrote this song for a bluegrass quartet to sing. And Katie and I are a lot of things, but we're not a quartet. Just can't make that happen. So if you hear some lines that you'd like to sing that repeat, I'd love to, you sounded so good on the Jen Denver song, I'd love to hear you do it. How will I leave? I'll build from the lessons I learned in my youth. How will I leave? And open my eyes and my heart to the truth. That's how I leave this earth. How will I leave? How will I leave? How will I leave this earth? When it comes my time to go, how will they measure my worth? I will live on. I will live on. Those that I touched while I lived in this journey of life from my death to my birth. That's how I leave this earth. It's choice and not chance that has brought me along. How will I leave? And showed me the difference between right and wrong. That's how I leave this earth. How will I leave? How will I leave? Leave this earth when it comes my time to go. How will they measure my worth? Measure my worth. I will live on. I will live on. I will live on. Those that I touched while I live in this journey of life from my death to my birth. That's how I leave this earth.
Some say we'll live on up in heaven above How will I leave? I will live on through the ones that I love That's how I leave this earth How will I leave? How will I leave? How will I leave this earth? When it comes my time to go How will they measure my worth? From my death to my birth That's how I leave this earth In this journey of life From my death to my birth That's how I leave this earth You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Carrie's going to say a few words, I think, and we're going to take a little break. Thanks, everybody. Rascal is the dog. He ain't too bright. Me and Rascal were sitting on the couch last night when my woman come in and she started to cry. She looked at us with such terror in her eyes. She said, I have raised these children for 18 years while you have done nothing. <laughs> Look, we found the pulse of the audience already. And now they're growing up and they're moving out of here And my big reward for all that I have been through Is this dog as dumb as mud And you, yippee-yahoo <laughs> 